Today we're going through the shoulder tap exercise. It's a great core exercise, also incorporates a lot of shoulder stability. Set up with your hands underneath your shoulders, stacked up nice and strong, and then on the balls of your feet. While getting comfortable in this position, take a deep breath in, expand your rib cage in 360 degrees of motion, really draw in the oxygen and keep that balance through there. Don't bear down. This will keep your hips in a neutral position, not sagging or raising up like they do in these images shown. From here, stabilize with one arm into the ground, holding yourself up. Stay as stiff still as possible through your hips, back and shoulder blades and lift your other hand up to tap your shoulder. You can pause for a second at the top, but then return your hand back to the ground. If this is a difficult movement for you, just start with one side at a time first instead of alternating sides. If it's also difficult to find your balance, widen your feet and get a wider support. Your arms should not be rotating or dropping in like this. You should be holding a nice stable back throughout the whole sort of period. You should also not be raising up the other way, pushing through the ground and raising your shoulder up the other direction. The hardest, but probably the best way to do this exercise is to alternate sides. So raise one arm up and tap on the other side, then rebalance and tap on the other side. The real goal here is to minimize that hip sway and movement throughout this exercise. Same thing from an alternate angle. You can see when I raise up to tap the shoulder, the shoulders are nice and level throughout the entire time. I'm not allowing a shoulder dip one way or the other as was shown previously as I'm holding a nice strong stability throughout my scapula. Some movement will be inevitable from side to side when you're changing, but minimize the amount through your hips and shoulders and that's the key.